welcome back to Homoerotic Stories After Dark, where we read the stories on the web with the intention of getting you hot, bothered, and off. With you, as always, I'm your host, Elijah. We last left off with studly yet sweet Alex, about to admit his feelings to Kyle. Kyle closes the gym locker, and with his heart racing, Alex moves closer to him. Kyle, there's something I have to tell you. What is it? Kyle asks. Kyle's in just a towel, and try as he might, Alex can't look away from the droplets of water crawling from Kyle's strong chest down to the divots of his chiseled abs. Alex's eyes follow the water as it drips to the top of the towel. Lower and lower until he stares at the print beneath the thin material. Swallowing nervously, Alex knows it's now or never. He can't get Kyle out of his mind. He needs to know if Kyle feels the same. Look, I... But before Alex can finish the sentiment, Kyle's towel drops. There it is, in all its glory. Kyle's... Unsurprisingly, it's amazing. Thick, but not too thick. Big, but not massive. The smooth, taut skin strains to hold the rock-hard member. Alex has seen plenty of but none are as impressive as Kyle's. The perfect man with the perfect... Uh, your, um, towel dropped, Alex stammers, as if Kyle is unaware. A wry laugh escapes Kyle's bee-stung lips. It did. Do you want me to pick it up? Alex doesn't. But it's so important not to get distracted. He wants to tell Kyle how he feels. It's been too long. Kyle, I, I want you to know. But before Alex can finish his thought, Kyle is on him. Strong hands grab the nape of his neck, lips on lips, broad chest against broad chest, and a hard pressing against the bulge in Alex's pants. Blushing and breathless, Alex pulls away, determined to tell Kyle how he feels. Kyle smirks at Alex. No. What were you going to say? Hi. Hi there. Just needed to sign here. Okay. I'm glad it finally came today. Otherwise, I would have lost complete focus. Hang on. Um. Say something again. What would you like me to say? I know your voice from somewhere. Oh, where do you know my voice from? <sighs> Um, it'll come to me. It'll come to me. I... Alex wanted to wrap his lips around that massive and hard... Holy... You're Elijah. Indeed I am. (laughs) I listen to your podcast all the time. I'm literally addicted. (laughs) Well, I'm uh, I'm glad that my podcast uh, riles you up. Believe me, it does more than that. (laughs) Um, hmm. maybe uh, you could come over sometime. Um, to deliver another package? <laughs> <laughs> no, come over and uh, just hang out. I mean, you know where I live. Awesome. Yeah, I'm off tomorrow. <laughs> cool. Sure. All right. See you tomorrow. Um, you. package. Oh, 
so sorry. <laughs> I'm a mess. <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> Welcome back to Homoerotic Stories After Dark, where we read stories on the web with the intention of getting you hot, bothered, and off. With you as always, I'm your host, Elijah. Yesterday, Alex and Kyle got their sticky, sweet, happy ending. So today, I've got something new, something fresh, something exciting. Let me introduce you to Elliot. He's a good Southern boy with a great smile, a sexy voice, a fantastic body, and a good head on his shoulders. Elliot's got it all, but he's lonely. It's a day like any other when Elliot hears a knock at the door. When he answers, he sees the strikingly gorgeous delivery driver, Noah has beautiful eyes, a great body, and he's eager to get to know Elliot. But Elliot is shy around new people. Nobody believes it considering how outgoing Elliot has to pretend to be. But he is. He doesn't feel that way around Noah, though. There's something about Noah that makes him feel comfortable. And... Package for Elliot, Noah says. Handsome his mail carrier uniform. That's me. Elliot takes the package from Noah's hand. A package, huh? I'm interested. Noah blushes. Elliot knows exactly what he's doing. And it's working. Uh, I should have said delivery. <laughs> I didn't mind the innuendo. Elliot flirts. Well, it seems like you have a nice, heavy package, Noah states giving Elliot a shy smile. Does that work? Everything works with you. Noah is irresistible. And Elliot has had enough of trying not to make a move. Dropping the package on the ground, Elliot grabs Noah by the waist and pulls him in for a passionate kiss. Unable to keep their lips or hands off of each other, they stumble into the house knowing they're about to have the best night of their lives. <laughs> so you're lonely. Uh, what? What? Think about it. Oh, you listen to the podcast. I told you I listen to everyone. Come in. You know that my stories aren't real, right? Mm. And yet somehow I'm your fictional muse. <laughs> but you are very real. Pinch me. What? Make sure I'm real. <laughs> I feel like you should pinch me. I think I'm the one that's dreaming. God, you are good with your words. You should see what else I'm good with. I'm willing to find out. I had you, and now you're forever mine. My memory. Welcome back to Homoerotic Stories After Dark, where we read the stories on the web with the intention of getting you hot, bothered, and off. As you know, Elijah is no longer with us, and we miss him. Do we miss him? But I'm your new host, Ken Senti, and we're moving forward. This week, we'll be revisiting Kyle and Alex. Gosh, we could all use some comfort, right? We left Alex and Kyle off at the gym, 